So in this diagram below, A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. A, E, D and E, F, C are straight lines. So you can see a quadrilateral, four-sided figure, A, B, C and D. It's given that A, B is 20X. So this is A, B, given that this is 20X. And A, E is 8Y. So A, E is here, which is equal to 8Y. And D, C, where is D, C? D, C is here which is equal to 25x minus 24y. So the direction is very important. And given that AE is 1 over 4AD, so you have AE is 1 over 4AD, therefore your AD should be 4AE, which is equal to 4AE is what? 8y. So AD is 32Y and EF is 3 over 5EC. So you have EF is 3 over 5 of EC. So where is your EF? Somewhere around here. And you will be interested to find the ratio that is EF over EC is 3 ratio 5. So EF the ratio is 3 and EC is 5, meaning FC should be 2 because the whole EC is 5. Therefore, your FC should be 2 because EF is 3. So you have to gather all the information from the questions before you start. So now part A, you have to find BD. So what is BD? From the diagram, BD will be somewhere around here. This is BD which is equal to BA plus AD. So your BA should be negative 20x because it's different direction of AB. So you have negative 20x. And what is your AD? We already found the AD, which is 32y. So we completed uh, A part 1, that is BD equal to negative 20x plus 32y. So now we move to A part 2, that is to find EC. How to find EC? EC will be somewhere around here. So you can use ED plus DC. You know your DC and you can find your ED. So this equal to ED plus DC. So what is ED? So you can see you are given the ratio AE over AD which is 1 over 4. That is AE, the ratio is 1, and AD, the ratio is 4. Therefore, your ED should be 3. So you know that AE is 8Y. Therefore, your ED should be 3 times 8, which is 24Y. Plus the DC, which is 25X minus 24Y. This will give you an answer. 25x. Now we continue to part B, show that the point B, F, and D are collinear. What do you mean by collinear? That is B, F, D is on the same straight line. So listen carefully because a lot of students find collinear concept very confusing. So how to show B, F, D are collinear? So now you have three points, you have to show that they are collinear. The first step, you have to find mm -hmm. two vectors from here. We already have one vector, which is BD from part A. We can use this. Now we try to find another vector. Let's say I find BF now. So what's my BF? BF equal to BA plus AE plus EF. So we're going for this direction, BF here equal to BA plus AE plus EF. So what is BA, which is negative 20x because AB is 20x. AE is given, which is 8y. So what is your EF? You are given EF is 3 over 5 EC. Therefore, your EF equal to 3 over 5. You already found your EC, which is 25x. This equal to 15x. So you have 15x here. So BF equal to negative 5x plus 8y.
So now you have two vector involving these three point BFD, you have BD and BF. So the second step here, you have to get your BD over BF. You already found two vector involving this three point BFD here. So if you have BD over BF, you're supposed to get a constant, which is a ratio. So what is your BD? Negative 20x plus 32y. And what is your BF? Negative 5x plus 8y. So now for the numerator here, I can factorize 4, which I have negative 5x plus 8y over negative 5x plus 8y. So you can see this term, you can cancel off. This equal to 4. So you have BD equal to 4BF. So if you have a constant here, you can say that B, F, D, R, collinear. So now to summarize it, first to prove that these three points are collinear, that is B, F, and D, first you have to find two vectors involving B, F, D. So we have B, D here, one vector, then we find another vector which is B, F. Okay, see here you have B, F, and D here. So these two vectors involving BFD, the next step is you have to find the ratio BD over BF. If you get a constant, can be 4, can be 2 over 3, then you can say that BFD are collinear. Now I move on to the last part, that is part C. If modulus X equal to 2 and modulus Y equal to 3, we have to find modulus BD. So what is BD here? BD will be somewhere around here. So you are given that the modulus x is 2. Now you have 20x here. If modulus x equals 2, so 20 multiplied with 2, your a, b should be 40. And you have the vector x and vector y, so you know that this is actually perpendicular. And your a, d, you have found that your a, d is what? 32y, right? And your modulus y is 3. So now a, d should be 32 times 3, which is equal to 96. So now you have 40 here and 96. To find the modulus b, d, you can use Pythagoras theorem. That is b, d, modulus b, d, equal to square root of 40 square plus 96 square. Just press your calculator, your answer should be 104.